Hey, 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 it's Patch of Day 23. Just thought I'd sound slightly excited. I listened back to my tutorial, the last couple of Patch of Days and sound really like um, bored, but maybe, maybe I shouldn't. Um, all right, so instead of doing things according to amplitude, read to secret triggering samples, um, this is going to be using video, using pretty much the same idea, some kind of amplitude uh, sorting. For, and in video, I always think of amplitude as being brightness. So I don't know whether that's just me or that's something that could be universally said. So I'm going to make something here called a jit.qt.movie. There's a surprise for you. I uh, never made one of those before. Okay, and I'm going to, I guess I can leave it at the default size or I can give it the arguments. I think used to be that 322.40 was the default for qt.movie, don't know. Um, I'm going to use the same kind of deal <clears throat> as I did in the last couple patch of days where I um, prepend some message to read a file in to the qt.movie and using the drop file which looks like that on your palette to um, drop a file onto that. Awesome. And I'm going to read in something that comes from, this is one of my favorite places to go to steal video. Uh, this is archive.org. And you get all sorts of, especially in an area called the Prelinger Ar Archives, or is it Prelinger? Um, you get all sorts of fun videos from the, you know, from the past, from the, the dark ages. And I downloaded this here. Uh, video as a, an MPEG-2 because that was the highest resolution they had available to me and then I um, went and changed that up it came in as a .mpeg um, .mpeg is not really fast enough to use in Jitter so I converted it to .mov and J picture um, JPEG format is the way to save it. In case you're interested and you're using a, a Macintosh, um, QuickTime 7 is the is the way to go. I sort of can't show that it's QuickTime 7 here, but if I open, for example, a file in QuickTime 7, you need to have QuickTime Pro for any of this stuff to, to happen. And I can drag my um, MPEG movie over here you'll be able to, in QuickTime 7, you can export it and export as under the options for movie to QuickTime movie. You'll see that you have the option of using photo JPEG compression. And that is pretty much the best format for use in Jitter. So uh, if you're using other software, I'm sure you can get to it. <clears throat> um, I don't know if there's a free version to free version of anything to do this with but I own QuickTime Pro so yeehaw you're probably not doing much with video if you don't have QuickTime Pro but just to point out that the new QuickTime which is now QuickTime what um, this is the new QuickTime uh, help uh, doesn't tell us oh yeah about QuickTime the new QuickTime player which is now at version 10 doesn't do any kind of interesting export it has a share menu that you can do um, a very, very limited version number of um, version conf format conversions. Not very helpful. All right, so there's my um, QT movie player, and I'll drag my um, QT. I'll drag my movie over onto there, so it reads it into the um, QuickTime movie. Um, I guess as with all of these. <coughs> um, all of these here uh, do video playback things. We're going to need a metronome to read to basically output the um, contents of the jit.qt.movie. So a metronome running at 50 milliseconds. Don't know why I chose 50 milliseconds. And a toggle for turning on the metro. And again, as with the last couple of tutorials, I'll make a new thing so I can do something on when it starts at least so that when I start the playback of the QuickTime movie, one thing that's kind of common to do when you start the QT.movie playback is to go to time zero. So the message time with the value zero. And every time I get 
a um, frame from the QT doc movie. I'm also going to make want to make a message for get time because we're going to use that time value stored together with a with a, a, a brightness value to access the movie according to brightness. When you say get time over here, it's going to put the message time out the right outlet of the .qt .movie. So I need to make a message to to route that um, or route that time message just to strip off the, the word time from the message that comes from the right outlet. And I'm going to put that together with a value of brightness, which if we haven't done this before, um, I guess the first step, generally sp speaking, is to make a JIT.RGB to Luma so that we're only looking at one plane of data. We're not interested in two. And then we need um, to look at the brightness. Well, we look at the average <coughs> brightness, which is the brightness across the entire matrix using a JIT.3M. And we'll see the one of the um, outlets of the JIT.3M is the mean, which is the second outlet. So I'm going to pack those together using pack with time is is, is just a f uh, integer value, and then the brightness value is a float. Okay. So there's my mean going into the second there into the second element of the list, and time going into the first element of the list, and as with the um, patch day 21, I'm going to store those in a call. Okay. So there's going to be, we can actually just start this thing. Maybe we want to, maybe we want to watch the movie. I don't know. So I'll use a little jit.p window to have a look at it. And um, I don't know why that just automatically connected because I'm getting a bit mouse happy. Let's have a look at the movie while we're, because this will help while away the hours. And hopefully, if we just turn this thing on, it will play back the movie. Yes. Okay. Again, you'd probably want, you know, several minutes of this. Uh, that's one reason why I chose a movie from archive.org. I chose something that's about 20 minutes long, and you could use the entire 20 minutes of video to be able to sort it. So it has some interesting results on the sorting. Um, actually could have chosen a video that was a slightly more interesting video all around. But 1979 I can remember it um, very vaguely and this was probably me and my friends all hanging out outside the barber shop. And you know, the, 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 the point of the movie is that it's uh, t trying to teach us about the evils of drinking alcohol. I think that's the point. I don't know. Either that, or we'll, as we'll see in the next scene, the, um, how much fun you can have if you're a teenager and you, and you drink alcohol. Out of sight. Yeah. Okay, so we can notice as this thing's running, it's storing the time that it was getting from the the forget time message up here, and then it's got the the mean brightness. We can see it start obviously starts off very dark and gets brighter in very more or less as it as it goes on. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to stop this now. Uh, that's one of the features that they've put into the new jit.qt.movie playback is when it stops playing, it stops the sound. Uh, hooray, thank you for to Cycling74 for that um, update. That helps make our lives a whole lot less frustrating. So I'm going to, again, do the same thing as I did in Patch Day 21, where I'm going to sort the, um, the index in ascending order. So sort with the value negative 1. And then again, as soon as I click that, we'll see that um, that these uh, values that here, the, 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 not the index, we're sorting the data, 
But yes, these data values, you can see that these are now arranged according to, in this case, brightness. And so we have a scale of brightness going up woods. Okay. Again, uh, just like that uh, patch day 21, we're going to use the next message to read sequentially through this call. And we're going to use a metro, a new metro. We'll have it running at 50 milliseconds since that's the speed that we um, took the analyses at. And then I'm going to use a toggle, T for toggle, hooked up to that metro to turn it on. Um, and then we're going to use, again, we're going to use the, uh, the index value, which is these, those are the um, frames in the film, in the video. We're going to use those with a message formatted for the quick time for a quick time movie playback which would be time which we can use that value there time dollar one then a comma for a bang so that we can bang the um, bang that frame out of the QT movie playback um, I might just to make my whole life a little bit simpler just copy the the jit .qt movie and the and the um, drop file <coughs> object so that I can make a copy down here obviously well not necessarily obviously but if I had um, just hooked up the time with the bang it would be storing the stuff that I'm getting uh, it would be storing what I'm reading back at the same time as playing it that's probably not uh, a good idea so I'm going to drag exactly the same movie into this drop file that I dragged into the first one. Although, yeah, let me see where was that. Okay, here it is. I'll uh, we'll drag that over onto there. Very good. Then as soon as I hit my metronome over here, we should be reading through this sorted call of video frames and that would look something like this, something like ordered according to brightness. All right, I mean, I can keep this going, but I'm pretty sure you get the idea. All right, so that was indeed Patch of Day 23, and I'll see you in 24, where we'll do exactly the same thing as we did here, except break it out into RGB values. So don't throw this away. We'll probably use exactly the same thing, um, and I'll see you in 23. Bye.